Welcome back to today's video. For today, it's gonna be another recreation because, because I want to, okay? I find that recreations really help my channel to grow and for people to see my videos a little bit more. So I decided that I wanted to do another one and I'm really excited for this look because it's, so for today's recreation, I wanted to do a Dove Cameron look. It's in black and white, so there's mixed emotions about that because I love the vibe of it for a picture, but obviously it's, I can't tell the undertone of any, like, of the makeup look, but that makes my life a little bit easier, and I just like the idea that this is a smoky eye, but it's kind of winged out. I just, I love this look. I think it's so pretty, and I really like the idea of doing it in black and white. So this is a look I'm going to try to attempt to do today. That was a lot of to do in today and oh my goodness. So without further ado, let's get on into the look. The first thing I'm gonna start with is the eyeshadow because it does look like a smoky eye and usually if I don't know the look that I'm doing, I always like to start with the eyes because if you mess up, at least you only mess the eyes up and not the face as well. So per usual, I'm going to start by priming my eyes and I like to use concealer. So this one is from Makeup Revolution and this is their Super Size Conceal and Define Concealer. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to both my eyelids. <laughs> Sorry, this is dramatic. But when am I not? Also, I wanted to mention this background. It might not be like the prettiest background in the world, but I have noticed, maybe this is just me, when there is just a <laughs> when there is just a plain background like this, I focus more on the look and what the person's actually doing rather than what's going on in the background. Maybe that's just me. I've had a few friends say that they like, you know, like my room for backgrounds and stuff. And while I can still do that, I kind of like this idea a little bit better because I really like to be able to focus on the look and not the background but let me know how you feel obviously I change my background like every single video so it's nothing you know shocking but I do kind of like this a little bit better so for eyeshadow I have three different options obviously there are many palettes out there and these aren't the only ones that'll get this look but I thought I would just give you my top three recommendations first one is Anastasia soft glam this thing is just beautiful I love it so good one that I think I'm gonna use today is the Dom Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. This is fantastic, although I will say if you're a beginner, the pigmentation is insane and the look can get carried away really quick, but it's good nonetheless. And then finally is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Palette, which I'll probably also reach for. There are so many colors, the quality is great, so I just wanted to give you some options. The one I'm going to use today I think is the Dominique Cosmetics. The first shade I'm going to take is this one right here, and basically I'm just going going to work on blending this on the outer part of my eye. Also, I have to mention, there's a little bit more light coming in this way, so if the eyes look uneven, it's the lighting. Now what I'm going to do is take this color, which, be careful, and I'm just going to kind of blend that over the first shade, but not take it so high, because once again, you're going to get a look. Now, I don't know how well this is going to go, but I'm going to take this shade right here on a not, no, no, no. I forgot to mention this. This is a blister, and I'm sorry, it's really gross, and it hurts. Um, I was doing yard work, and the rake gave me a big blister. So sorry about that. It's really gross, but really, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to take this brush, and I'm gonna pick that shade up, and say a little prayer that this doesn't go south, and start to create the the general shape that she had going on. All right, I know this is starting to look really sloppy, but don't worry, it's gonna come together. So now I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I think I'm either gonna take this shade or this shade. I don't know, but I'm gonna keep deepening this up because in the picture, it looks like she really has like cool toned dark eyeshadow. I'm just basically gonna go in and continue to darken this. I would recommend being very light handed with this part because black eyeshadow, which is what I'm using right now, is not very forgiving. All right, now you're probably convinced I don't know what I'm doing, but trust me, 
it'll come together. What I'm gonna do now is take this shade right here and I am just going to put this on my eyelid. All right, then this lighting is not very good. I'm so sorry, but what I'm gonna do is take some makeup remover on a brush and as you can see right here, just go under this eyeshadow and clean it up. Be careful not to take too much off, meaning like this does not connect to your lower lash line. Just take off enough that it's cleaned up. So this is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in Gunmetal. If you know about Gunmetal, you know about Gunmetal. And I am going to very lightly try and put this on my eye. Now I'm going to put some lashes on and your girl can finally tell you where they're from because I haven't taken them out of the packaging yet. These are the Ardell Mega Volume 259 Lash, 259. And I'm going to put these on. I'm super excited that I can tell you where my lashes are from. Oh, Grandma's calling me. Hi, Jihan. I picked up the phone. Don't be too shocked. Okay, sorry about that. I want to talk Jihan. So, um, back to my lashes. I'm going to put these on real quick, and then we'll move on to the face. I'm really not going to do anything super different than my normal routine here. First, going to take the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury and put this on my cheekbones as well as my nose. And then for my foundation, same as always, Makeup Revolution and Laura Mercier. All right, trust me, I know I look scary. I promise it'll come together. I'm just going to conceal my eyes with the same concealer I used earlier and then set it. Now that I'm still looking crazy, but hopefully a little better, I am going to put some bronzer on to bring me back from the land of the dead. For my bronzer, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Tantastic, and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to my face. For my blush, I'm just going to apply a few of these from MAC because they're all in here and might as well. A few of these are from Makeup Peak as well, so just any neutral colored blush will be just fine. Now I'm going to be extra because why not? I'm gonna take the Nomad Cosmetics Kiss of Sun palette and take this shade down here, which is basically just a shimmery bronzer. And I'm gonna lightly put that over all of that. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of powder from Maybelline and clean up my bronzer a little bit. Now for my highlight, I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Cosmetics Flash palette. Okay, so here's the completed brow. Now I'm gonna move on to my lower lash line, but first I am going to highlight my brow bone. And now for my lower lash line, I'm just going to carefully take probably a few of the shades I've already used and just lightly blend them on my lower lash line. But what I'm gonna do is take a black eyeliner and put this in my waterline and just smudge it a little bit right next to my lashes. And then I know my lighting is awful, I'm really sorry, but finally I'm gonna take some black mascara and put it on my lower lashes. Okay, that's it for the eyes and most of the makeup, but now it's just the lip and then we are done. I am going to take this Marc Jacobs lipstick and screen test, which looks like this. Just apply a little bit and then just put a little bit of this Morphe lip gloss on in Flower Crown. Then it just wasn't quite the right color. I'm not sure this is either, but I took a little bit of this Becca lip gloss. I would say that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do is fix my hair and then I'll be back for my ending. So I will be right back. All right, so here obviously is the finished makeup look with the hair. I'm not really good at hair. I feel like I've mentioned it many times. I'm not good at hair, so I just tried to curl it and, you know whatever. Anyway, that is the end of this video. A little disclaimer I always like to put in here. If you've seen these before, it's probably getting annoying. This is just a makeup look. This is just a look that I saw celebrity wear and I wanted to show you how you could possibly get it with the makeup products I showed in this video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my next video.